Well, ladies and gentlemen, kids, it has been a long, long time since I made a video. So to get back in the groove of things, I'm going to make a video tonight that shows you how to make a better jump. So I have this Unity project here. It's pretty simple. I just put two pieces of ground and I put these two cubes. The cube in the back, that one's going to jump normally with just the rigid body. You add a force, it goes up and physics pulls it back down. The cube in the front, it's going to jump and it's going to kind of come down a little faster. So I'm going to show you what it looks like and then I'll show you the code because this is a quick tutorial. So here I have two cubes. I can move back and forth. All right. And then I could also jump. Now I have that trail showing behind the cubes so we could see the jump path. And you could see how the cube in the front drops a little harder than the cube in the back. So just imagine if you were playing a game and you had a cube like the cube in the back. It basically would feel like you're floating in the air and not coming down hard. But all the video games I played, they kind of jump more like the cube in the front. So how do I do the code for the cube in the front? All the code is almost the same. There's only one little difference. So let me show you the code that I put on these two cubes. So here I am with the normal jump. You know, I had the variables like moving, jump force, the rigid body, and on the ground. In the start, I get the rigid body. In the update, I just translate left and right based on the input from the horizontal axis. That moves me left and right. Okay. And then over here, if you press the space bar and you're on the ground, then I add force to jump up. Okay. I add the force to jump up. Then I know if I'm on the ground, when I'm touching the ground, and if I'm not touching the ground. If I exit the ground, then I'm off the ground. So this is the normal jump. That's the one in the back that we saw jumping. Okay, nothing extra to bring it down faster. Now for the one in the front, which is jump fall. Let's look at its script. Okay, this is the jump fall script. Same thing almost, except I have this a fall multiplier that I'm adding in that's going to make it fall a little faster. The higher that number is, the faster it'll fall. Same thing, I get the rigid body. Same thing over here as the normal jump. I move left and right. And if I press the space bar when I'm on the ground, I jump up with adding force. Now this is the new thing in the fall, the jumper fall that makes you fall faster. It checks the rigid body velocity in the Y axis. See the Y axis is the up and down. Okay. If the y-axis velocity is negative, which means it's going down, then I'm going to make the velocity go down even faster. Okay, so what I do is I take the vector 3 up times the gravity y times the fall multiplier to make it fall faster. Okay, times time delta time. And this code right here, this is what makes it fall faster. The rest is all the same. And basically, that's it for this tutorial. Just those two scripts. One for the normal, which is the one in the back, and one for falling faster, which is the one in the front. Have a nice tie.